Okay. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to my playthrough of the Outer Wilds or Outer Wilds. There's no B in the title. Whatever. So, um, I'm pretty much just gonna go for it because I have heard, seen a tiny little bit on this game, but I haven't played it myself. And uh, from what I've seen, it's a really amazing game. So let's just start a new expedition. Mm, space. Some space stuff happening. Okay, so I can look around. I hope I can increase the sensitivity. Uh, yes, please, sir. Uh, good. Okay, that's better. Uh, okay, so we're talk to Slate. So I guess I'll start by talking to you. There's our pilot back from your pre launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you. Uh, you joined the space program and suddenly there you are leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Uh, um, I kind of... Okay. All systems go, I guess. Why not? Uh... Glad you're excited, but remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of lightweight, re-entry grade aluminium alloys, you know. <laughs> Anyways, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here and you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. I swear I can read. Promise. Okay. Jump. Okay. So the game tells you to use the controller, so I bring that. Paul to Mika. Hey, it's you. I might actually just re. Uh, yeah. Hey, it's you. Slate said you'd be blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? Better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. Better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model spaceship? My model ship? Slate said it's just like the real thing. Uh, only less likely to start a fire. Oh, the sun is rising. It's just beautiful. This game is amazing. I, this game just looks amazing. I love it. it does feel kind of weirdly framey for me though, I have to say. Maybe it's in 30 FPS? I uh, don't know. The G say, uh, video. Ah, shit. Uh, I'm gonna turn down the sensitivity a smidge so it's less. Um, jarring because yeah, it's a very relaxed game, so you don't want to talk to Porphy. Hey, yo, hatchling, I hear you're leaving to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let you, me, and Gossam open up a bottle of the good stuff. Only seeking adventure amongst this one star, actually, other stars are too far away. Yeah, I guess so. Another metaphor ruined by it in, the, in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. So I guess I have to go to the launch tower. This game feels like it's limited to 30 FPS. But... The... GeForce experience isn't really registering this as a 
game or it's not working with it so I can't really tell um, the frame rate. Also, I really need to put on shorts because it's way too hot in here. <laughs> One second, sorry. Okay, so where's the launch tower? It's up here, but I thought we were supposed to go here because it... Well, we need to get to the observatory. Because of the jump thing was there, but I guess it's just... Doesn't matter. Probably there's a jump thing here too. Nope. Can't get up here. <laughs> I can roast a marshmallow. I could control the roast of the marshmallow. It's amazing. Oh, I need to extend it and then I need to hold it in here. Oh, shit. Extinguish. Can I eat it? It's burnt. Place. Okay, so maybe I'm kind of working. Marshmallow control number one. An A. Something okay. So. Eh, I made it. I actually made a marshmallow that is edible. Good job, me. Okay, so I guess I do have to go here. Also, I'm gonna quickly disable my preview window because it's a little annoying to see yourself twice. See everything you're doing twice. Okay, so... There's a lot of stuff here. Could just go in here? No. From an aesthetic, it kind of reminds me of um, The Long Dark, which is pretty much my favorite game ever. Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of our other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the travelers' instruments. Oh sure, I made all of them, all of their instruments, you know. Let me see, there's church drums, Rebecca's banjo, and Gabro's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica. Of course, though Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday when they were playing the, their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space? That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. How do I do that? Pressing all the buttons. Oh, there it is. That's a flute. I can only see that one. Wait, I can try signal scope her. Don't have it here. But. Cool. Talk tomorrow, I guess. So it's launch day, huh? Hell's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day. I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launched from is getting old. Isn't it about time to build a new one, a less flammable one? Big tree in the village should be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. Uh... <laughs> nice try. We all know you have it in for that tree. Have it out for that tree. Wait, what? No, I just think it's in the way of, and someone ought to chop it down, you know, specifically me. Ah, uh, I think uh, this is to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm. Ah, uh, you think uh, this is to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Um, who would, who would hold a grudge for that long? Okay, so I think 
No, this isn't where we're supposed to go. There's the observatory. I haven't played the game, but I've been listening to the soundtrack. But I guess you can talk to all of them. It's interesting. I kind of want to get going. Maybe I'll talk to a couple on the way back. Game doesn't feel so framey anymore. Maybe I just got used to it. I don't know. Okay, zero G cave. Talk to Gosan. Hey, I thought you might need. I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Um, I guess. Are you kidding? I'm a natural at this. Is that so? Funny, I seem to recall the first time you strapped on a jetpack, we had to come fish you out of the crater near the South Pole. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up uh, down on the Zero-G cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute Zero-G practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident and you can make the ship repairs in space. I guess I'll do the tutorial. Um, Cool, get get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Activate. Well, I've been really bad at reading stuff out. Probably get better at it though. Zero G, I should try to jump and I can get up here. Talk to Tough. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. I'm getting some Zero Z job, uh, time in, give me the dirt. Yeah, so some fresh dirt. Not much happening down here lately, let me think. Come to think of it, Tektite saw something crash outside of the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Oh hey, how about that? Yeah, they were on Firewatch with the old... Everyone said they in this. Old scout launcher and saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, I'm kidding. I said that, uh, I said that to Tektite once. Pretty rude. How long they left for, if you ask me. So nobody is assuming any genders here. Yes. Interesting. So I came from here. Guess I'll down here and see what's the haps. Not really zero G if I can walk on the ground, right? Huh. I'm looking for these. Okay, so it actually is zero G here. Yeah, get it. I see. Just out. Okay. That's number one. I hear something. There it is. Yes. Oh, no, I'll guess I'll do that first. Yeah, that's pretty nifty that you can just um, match velocity. It's 
that's very useful like that yeah the the mechanics are pretty pretty uh, intuitive I guess I guess that's how you repair your ship. Now well, everything is working again. It's great. Ouch. I'm supposed to do that, I guess. Wait, did I come from here or not? I guess so. Well, we need. In VR, that's probably gonna make you throw up, I guess. Okay, so we're back up. And I fixed the thing. I can put back the suit. It's very, very spacey in here. Nice. Guess I tell you that I fixed it. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck to you, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time and training into you. Uh, got it? Dude, I already talked to you. So much stuff here. So I guess I have to wait for the... Okay, so it shows danger inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and impossibly cold substance that's invisible to the naked eye. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't uh, complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around or fails. Okay. Well, I'll die if I go in here. Yes. Mm. Guess I won't go in there then. It's not that much gravity here. I guess if you live on a rock like this and you don't have very long days and I don't know how your society works and if it just did I talk to you? Hell. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last. Hell, buddy. It's the Translator Tools inaugural fi flight, too. I'm so excited. It's making me nauseous. Just think. <clears throat> You'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want. Anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into it, uh, inventing that tool. So don't break it, okay? Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, jeez. Do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and uh, I'm not even the one going to into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You're, you're, you've only been waiting for this day since you, we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see your training pay off. What's the dirt? Uh, you here to see the new Nomai statue? New statue? You haven't heard? Gabbro brought it back with them from deep, uh, Giant's Deep, and Hornfells just finished prepping it for this uh, display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish uh, we could see what a real-life Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. 
This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And how old it is, it's in, uh, and for how old it is, it's in great shape. Oh jeez. Like, oh jeez, Rick. I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of uh, take care of yourself out there. You hear? I do hear. Uh, there's so much stuff. This remarkable remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species the species who dwelt in our solar system thousands of years ago. Statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the at the Nomai, who appeared to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the uh, the decor decorative jewelry uh, that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. So, this is where I get this launch codes. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and, a, and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the My Translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. Uh, we're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Uh, guess everything. I'm gonna wing it. Planning to follow the footsteps of Feldspar, the great Outer Wilds adventurer's tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Um, well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well then, looks like you're like that. That's all. God damn it. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that good? Kind of unlucky to say for a launch. At any rate, um, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are very, every bit as safe as late could be persuaded to make them. <laughs> that sounds very, very not good. <laughs> Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Yeah, well. Uh, Wonder what that says in what the launch codes say in the strange rock moving around this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. Level headed among us realized there must be some other some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabriel claims the rock exists in all possible states until it's observed. Whatever that means. But whatever is actually happening, both sides of the debate, the debate agree that the effect is extremely creepy. It's gone. It's pretty cool. It's a cool game mechanic too. Is it, does it change color or is it just the lighting? No, it's just the lighting. R1. We are nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Felix, unfortunately, uh, the Adel 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 Adler Rock's layer of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all, this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. this thing. This anglerfish specimen was found 
attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Watch closely, these balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes the spooky motion? The answer is the moon. Uh, as its orbits are planted, the Atlas rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Aside from the dwelling and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system. Which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the, no were, were the Nomai born in our solar system or were they born among the stars and planets? If they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer uh, through further Xenia archaeological expeditions. What you see here are part of a uh, Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and are quite unusual and quite unusually only three eyes. Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Parthians don't uh, couldn't have descended from Nomai ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from uh, or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues uh, to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon for to Outer Wilds Ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval cap capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost in the depth of space. So I think the launch codes are in Morse code, I wonder what they say. This crystal was taken from a Nomai rune on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Nice. Now I can't... Again, I'm not... I'm gonna pick it up and go elsewhere. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if you can play this in VR. It's probably for... Uh, I have already read this. Yes, I've read this other thing. Uh, I guess this is the wrong direction. I think to start here. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to con contract. Uh, as the star's core contract contracts it gets hotter causing the outer layers to expand the star has become a red giant when the core is hot enough it starts to fuse helium into carbon the star is massive enough it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron ultimately the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode into a violent event called a supernova Based on Church's observation, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Very interesting. Uh, where do I get out? Here, no, sorry, here.
that's pretty much everything I've seen before. Right. Exactly. Second. Once again. 